So some of you are aware that I'm actually a math teacher and I've even done some computer programming and studied a little bit of computer science. And I've actually been able to crack the code on how Nvidia determines their GPU SKUs and how much VRAM capacity to put on them. So step one is you're gonna need to get two buckets. And in one bucket, you should place all of your GPU SKUs. And some of them you should throw a TI at the end, some of them you shouldn't, and sometimes maybe even consider placing a super on it. Then in your other bucket, you should put a bunch of random numbers between eight and 24. Actually, couldn't, shouldn't be completely random. We shouldn't use any odd numbers unless you're on a 10 series GPU, but we're not doing those anymore. Although it's important in your GPU bucket to also include some stuff from the previous generation, but just, just one mid skew, just not, not, just not all of them, just one random mid skew. Anyway, so we got numbers like eight, 10, 12, 16, 20, 24, just put those all in a bucket. Now we wanna draw one card out of one bucket, one out of the other bucket, match those together, and now you know how much VRAM capacity to put on your GPU SKU. Simple, right? So anyway, <laughs> that could explain why we have things like a RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM and an RTX 3080 with 10 gigabytes of VRAM. And then if this latest rumor is to be believed, uh, we're gonna be seeing a 3070 Ti <laughs> launching in January and announced in December that has 16 gigabytes of VRAM and an RTX 3080 that has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. <laughs> and not only that, but this is also confirming the rumor that we've heard before, where we'll be seeing a RTX 2060, I actually clicked on the tweet itself, whatever, that's fine, an RTX 2060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And that one will be apparently on shelf in December alongside the announcement. Now, is all of this true? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean, with, with, with their VRAM capacities, uh, where they've been <laughs> and just all over the place, this wouldn't really surprise me these days. And um, we have seen like, this is not, I keep clicking that, geez. Uh, this is not the first time we've seen the 2060 12 gigabyte rumor. So that one we've heard a few times. Now what's going on? What, weren't we supposed to be getting a 30 series of Ampere? Uh, not 30 series, a super series of the 30 series cards. Well, those have been rumored as well. And to me, it's been unclear if maybe those are actually a mobile variant. So maybe we're gonna be seeing supers in the mobile department and then these updated increased VRAM capacity TI cards or non-TI just with more VRAM capacity cards. This is just really weird, but why would Nvidia do this? Like, like if this is real, why would they be doing this? Well, could it be that they're finally admitting that 10 gigabytes on a 3080, if you're playing at 4K in the, you know, in the next couple of years, like we've got games like Far Cry 6 already coming out with their HD texture packs that are, designed to not <laughs> work as well on 10 gigabytes, uh, whether that's intentionally designed as an AMD marketing ploy or not, you know, question mark. But, but the reality is 10 gigabytes could be questionable in the future. So I really like the 12 gigabyte model idea here if this is real. I just honestly wish that had been what it had launched with in the first place. And then, you know, some people are trying to use the 3070 at higher resolutions and might wanna keep, keep a hold of that for a while. And so the eight gigabyte capacity was a bit low and then launching the 3070 Ti, the main thing I wanted to see on that was at least bumping up to 10 gigabytes of VRAM or more. And so seeing the 16 gigabyte version, great. But the question is, if this is real, at what cost? Like the GPUs they already have are already selling out, right? We're already selling out. Um, and at insane prices. And one of the things, not the only thing driving up prices is the cost of VRAM itself, but Whatever, now speaking of GPU prices, hey, look at this. We got the folks over at 3D Center and uh, maybe I need to shrink myself really tiny and out of the way. Ah! Okay, anyway. <laughs> So what's this? Well, uh, I've reported on this pretty much every month or so. And the folks over at 3D Center report on the prices of German retailers. I think this might also include Austria, but the, the graph itself specifically says German retailers here. And this is showing the price of the uh, AMD Radeon RX 6000 series and GeForce RTX 30 series. Um, and Nvidia's in red, uh, sorry, AMD's in red, Nvidia's in green, obvious, you know, team red, team green. 
And then they also have this dashed line here. Oops, uh, they have this dashed line here showing the availability level. Now, one thing to keep in, uh, keep in mind is that the red and green lines, because they started tracking this before newer cards like the 6600 and 6600 XT launched, they're not including that in this. So it's not everything. You can look at the details here for exactly what's included. So when we look at this price line, um, not only have things not gotten better since January of last year, they're just steadily getting worse again, although we still haven't reached the absolute crazy heights of mid-May on the NVIDIA prices. But guys, if this is what's going on with pricing already, let's just throw some more VRAM on it. I mean, maybe it's like the uh, sunk cost thing. Well, if they already cost a ridiculous amount, we might as well give them a good amount of VRAM. I mean, <laughs> okay, maybe that's it. I don't know, guys. Now, it is, again, uh, important to note that this is just the German market, not worldwide, so your location might be different, but I've got to say, like, when I've been monitoring prices, they do seem to be bad and getting worse. Also note that these are average prices. I'm not saying that you can go out and get any card for exactly 188% of its MSRP. I mean, um, that's the average for that group at their best price sales. Anyway, uh, is there anything else we should talk about? Well, we do see that from, um, I think this was reported by Moore's Law is Dead, although I found it here in a video cards article. By the way, everything I, I talk about today will be linked in the description of my video if you want to take a closer look. Uh, looks like over at Moore's Law is Dead, he got some looks at some renders of pre uh, preliminary reference designs for Intel's new GPU, which is really interesting. Is Intel going to be our savior on the GPU supply and availability? Um, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, uh, maybe that's why Nvidia is refreshing their cards is to, you know, compete really well. Uh, all the rumors seem to point to this uh, high-end version competing somewhere along the lines of a 3070 in terms of performance. But the real question is what would be its pricing? We've also seen rumors that it's not going to be hash rate limited. So if you're a believer in crypto mining being the main thing that's driving up costs, then this will do nothing unless, uh, you know, Will F really switch to proof of stake? Uh, maybe. Uh, they seem to have been talking about that for a while now, and it doesn't seem to actually be happening. And then will, uh, you know, even if they do that, will all the crypto miners just switch to a new currency that is mineable on GPUs and try to drive up prices on that one? <laughs> you can see I might not be too hopeful about the, the market in the near future. Anyway, what do I think about this design? Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I think it looks a little bit silly, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan. Like, it's it's not terrible. It's okay. It's okay. Um, maybe we'd have to see, see a better screenshot. This looks kind of cheap plasticky to me, rather than, like, super high-end metal. Um but it could just be that this photo is not great. And like the color scheme wise, I could live with that if it was again, like nice, really high end, um, like, like a metal design. But if it's more of just kind of this white and silvery plasticky kind of stuff, I don't know. So it really depends, I guess, on the quality of that component, uh, in my opinion, on uh, you know what I actually think about the whole thing. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments section, and I hope all of you have an excellent day.